Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Are you more likely not to wear a seatbelt in the back seat? Well, you may change your mind after seeing this. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan has the latest data from the Federal Safety Agency revealing some startling facts. Well, there's a push to get people to buckle up when they're in the back seat. In 2013, more than half of the back seat passengers killed in crashes were not wearing their seatbelts. Oh my God. If you need a reason to fasten that seatbelt when you're in the back seat, here it is. Watch this father and young son unbuckled go flying when the cab they're riding in gets hit. Department of Transportation data shows more than one in five backseat passengers do not buckle up. In a cab, the numbers are even worse. Here's a real life example. Watch the unbelted woman on the left fly across the cab, slamming into the window. The other woman was wearing a seatbelt. In 2013, more than half, 55% of backseat passengers killed in crashes were not wearing seatbelts. But only 28 states require adults in the back to buckle up. Rhode Island requires everyone in a vehicle to wear a seatbelt. People are just as likely to be injured or killed in the back seat if they're not wearing those seat belts as they are in the front seat. According to the Department of Transportation, people who don't wear their seat belts in the back seat are 30 times more likely to be ejected out of their window during a crash, and three of four of those people will die from their injuries. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.